This is Crypto Cake Weekly Update with BitBoy Crypto. Welcome to Crypto Cake Weekly Update. This week, we have several bullish stories for you. Grayscale is getting ready to release funds that have been locked up. CryptoQuant identifies who dumped Bitcoin. And finally, a report entitled Bitcoin Preparing for Institutions and what this means for the number one digital asset. According to data from on-chain analytics resource CryptoQuant, the price premium of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, or GBTC, just hit its lowest since April 2019. Last month, Grayscale, which remains the biggest institutional buyer in the Bitcoin space, purchased a total of 16,244 BTC. Last year in December, Grayscale was said to have a total of 572,000 Bitcoin in their custody, according to BitcoinTreasuries.org, a site that keeps track of Bitcoin holdings for publicly traded investment trusts and other investment firms. Bitcoin Treasuries now indicates Grayscale, or GBTC, holds 632,000 BTC, or approximately more than 50% of the 1.15 million Bitcoin in circulation at all of these trusts and investment firms. Danny Scott, CEO of United Kingdom-based cryptocurrency exchange Coin Corner, recently highlighted in a tweet that Grayscale has increased its buying of Bitcoin from last year as the price is rising. He said, Grayscale was buying $251 million of Bitcoin on average per week in quarter four of 2020. He also said, Last week, they did $700 million in one day, and today, $590 million. Pay attention. On-chain analytics firm CryptoQuant also indicates that Grayscale has increased its buying habits, according to data listed on its website. J.P. Morgan strategists have previously said that investment inflows into the GBTC trust are pivotal for the price of Bitcoin, expressing that the inflows into GBTC are too big to allow any position unwinding by momentum traders to create sustained negative price dynamics. Speaking of CryptoQuant, they've also identified that F2 Pool, a cryptocurrency mining firm, which is currently the largest mining pool with about 15% of the total Bitcoin hash rate, started to increase Bitcoin outflows on January 15th, indicating that the mining pool was dumping BTC. Then on January 17th, daily sales picked up dramatically reaching an amount of 10,000 BTC, or $313 million. Continuing for three consecutive days before the company returned to its normal selling habits, selling hundreds to thousands of Bitcoin a day. CryptoQuant CEO Ki Yongju listed a series of bearish alerts he received when Bitcoin started plunging on January 22nd. As per the data he provided, the miners' position index went above 2.5, reflecting growth in Bitcoin units that miners moved from their wallets. Subsequently, at the same time, CryptoQuant's all-exchange Bitcoin transaction count inflow surged, showing f 2 pool as a major BTC depositor. The dump might have started from BTC miners in f 2 pool Ju tweeted. 569 people deposited BTC in a single block. 78 miners deposited BTC in a single block, he added. CryptoQuant's data has gathered the mining pool's sell-off as the major catalyst that caused Bitcoin's price to plunge 20% from 35498 to 28732 in just 24 hours. This means that f 2 pool is essentially suppressing Bitcoin's market price. So how can this be bullish? Well, because it just shows how one entity is manipulating Bitcoin while everyone else, including institutional investors, are buying. In case you don't follow me on my own channel, BitBoy Crypto, we called out F2 Pool and their selling has seemed to slow down by putting a spotlight on them. So shout out to the Bit Squad. In a recent analysis by ARK Investment stating if corporations convert just 10% of their cash reserves to Bitcoin, the price of the number one digital asset could surge to $535,000. ARK Invest stated that even a tiny 1% allocation from S&P 500 companies would increase BTC and USD spot prices by 40K. They said based on search volumes compared to 2017, Bitcoin's price increase seems to be driven less by hype. With Bitcoin appearing to gain more trust, some companies are considering it as cash on their balance sheets. The firm further expands on the longer-term impact that corporations could have on Bitcoin scarcity. ARK predicted that their profitable allocations into their cryptocurrency would far surpass just 1%. They said... 
Based on daily returns across asset classes during the past 10 years, our analysis suggests that allocations to Bitcoin should range from 2.55% when minimizing volatility to 6.55% when maximizing returns. They also said based on ARK simulated portfolio allocations, institutional allocations between 2.5% and 6.5% could impact Bitcoin's price by $200,000 to $500,000. Of course, ARK Invest CEO, founder, and CIO is Kathy Wood. She recently told Yahoo Finance that she doesn't agree that Bitcoin has reached its new all-time high peak to the cycle. She said, We believe that the institutional behavior and moves recently have been fascinating. We have been expecting institutions to start moving into Bitcoin and other crypto assets, but primarily Bitcoin, the most secure of the blockchains. Because if you look at the correlation of Bitcoin's performance relative to any other asset class, it has the lowest correlation. Meaning, if you buy some Bitcoin, you will further diversify your portfolio and increase your returns with lower risk. Well, that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching Crypto Cake Weekly Update. Please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you never miss the week's vital crypto news. I'm BitBoy Crypto signing off. See you next week.